Hi, I'm Heidi Woodhead at DHI Event Horses. This is Generous DHI. He's a six-year-old gelding who's been competing a little bit novice level at the moment. And we're doing a training video for the British Horse Feeds and looking at uh, various cross-country training techniques, changing canter, working with a good rhythm to a fence, and generally progressing a horse's training as he moves up the levels. So I'm just having a nice little warm-up exercise here. I just want the horse to stay in quite a regular canter rhythm with energy, not too much speed. I don't mind if he gets a little bit deep to his fences, as long as he's concentrating on the jump when he gets there and a little woe afterwards. Good boy. So we're coming round to that vlog exercise again. Much better, good boy. So now he's thinking a little bit more, good boy. Oh, good boy. So we've had a nice little warm up. I'm going to play with canter a little bit. Make sure that his canter's feeling adjustable. It's on a nice flat bit of ground, I'm just going to move him on. Open his canter up a little bit. I'm just going to balance him and collect now a little bit for this mound. He's thinking about what his feet are doing. Up. Good boy. And down. And move away. Nice little change. Good boy. Ooh. Ooh. Good boy. Oh. Good, so having played with this canter a little bit, I'm going to put in a skinny fence. So this is where I'm just making sure he stays polite in the rain. I'm just going to accelerate a little bit here and I've got a skinny coming up so I'm going to just set him up and just say look at the fence nice little collection good boy pop over the mound I'm going to come to the ditch why not Ooh. lovely good boy So again, the mound can be quite unbalancing if you're coming to an accurate fence. So just keep the canter collected. See your stride. Way off we go. Good boy. Oh, very good. Oop. So this horse particularly can get a little bit keen. So I like to be able to play with my gears and canter a bit. And just trust that he's actually going to think about what he's doing with his feet when he gets there. But he likes to lock onto a fence and think about it. Now I'm going to be positive up these two steps. Good boy. And a nice, nice pop over the skinny at the top. Oh. Right, let's do that properly, shall we? So sometimes because he tries to second guess me, he gets a little bit strong and then he goes, oh, sorry, I missed that. I'm just going to pop over the side of this mound to the brush. Oh, good boy, had to move him there on a bit more of an open canter stride. It's difficult when you're schooling to keep the canter open enough like you would if you were actually out competing. It's very easy to over collect and make it all very careful and cautious and I don't want to be cautious I want the horses to be thinking about their fences and still keep moving oh boy uh. Ooh. Oh. husband wouldn't like the fact that I can't quite get a clean change here we go to a brush good man a little turn to the water 
good, so I'm going to keep coming. Now he's got his blood up a bit. Okay, we're going to come to a, come to a corner. It's a really easy training exercise. It's quite a generous width to jump because there's a lot to go at. I'm just going to collect the canto and I'm going to ride it a little bit right of centre without him getting all over excited. Good boy. Very straight. And that canter collected nicely. He's just getting a little bit on the keen side now down the road. So in the same way that you collect your canter for your corners, you do the same for your skinnies. And I'm going to go and pop a skinny and see if I can pick up a stride to a slightly bigger corner. This is going to come on a bit of an angle, so it might not look right when I get there. Good boy. So I'm going to test my canter a little bit now. I'm going to canter and open him up around the back of the field. I'm going to collect him about where level with the log. I'm going to pop the skinny barrel and hopefully keep a level canter stride down to the blue barrel to jump into the water over the skinny. So this is about, again, adjusting your canter and being able to keep a little bit of the control without hopefully too much fight. Because when they start arguing with you down the rain, and they take the focus off the fence. And I want them to always be thinking about jumping and being relaxed about it. So I'm just going to start thinking about collecting now. A little woe. And then keep the balance. Good boy, soft rain. And positive leg. Good boy. Oh, why not? Good. Now that we're giving him something more to think about, he's actually concentrating. Clever clogs. Aren't you? Ooh. 